Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to add categories so you can organize your store a little bit better. So the page you're seeing at the moment is just my example store that I've built and as we can see all my products are kind of all jumbled together and I want to make it easier for my customers to browse. So I'm going to add some categories in. Now I've got the editor open in another tab so what you're seeing here is just the, the editor for my store and we need to go into the store section so we're going to go up there and click on store. Once this is loaded in, we're going to go to categories. So it's under catalog and categories. And here we can start adding the, uh, the products, different categories and adding different categories. So what we need to do first is add a new root category. And that's just going to add a top level category for us. And I'm just going to call that vegetables. And we want to make sure it's enabled. You can disable it if you want to. So if you just need to hide something in the future, you can do that too. Um, you can choose you need to choose a file for the uh, category image you don't need to if you don't um, it will just come up as a, as a block of color but obviously won't look great so I'd always recommend putting an image in here for that so it's going to bring up that brought up my uh, file browser and I've just selected the image I was going to use for vegetables now while that's uploading I've already done I've got the description here now it's called a what you can see is what you get editor and what we could do is add images in there we can add uh, videos and things so if you really want to make it come alive you can do I'm just going to add the veg um, and that's just because in the interest of saving time okay so I'm going to go ahead and save that now that's going to make it live so what you might want to do um, while you're kind of working on it is disable it. So now I've saved it, it's gone live on my website. So, so it might be a good idea to just disable it for now, just while we're working on it. So customers aren't clicking in and seeing no products and getting a bit confused. So if we go into category products now, we can start adding some products to this category. So click on assign products to category. And we've got a list of all the products in my store here. So I'm going to start going through and adding all of my veg to this. Now I will add another category under this one to show you how you can separate them even further. But for now, I'm just going to add all my veg. So select all of them. If you just want to add one, you can click the blue plus, uh, but that will close this editor. So select the ones I want, add products. OK, we can see they are all in this top level category. Perfect. Now what we want to do is make sure that vegetables are selected. And we're going to want to add a subcategory because having all of them under one veg is going to make customers is going to make their lives harder if they're trying to set, trying to find something or trying to set for something reasonably specific. So this one is going to be root veg. And I'm going to leave this one enabled for now. And I'm going to choose file for that one. So again, we want an image for it. Basically the same process. And I've got an image for root veg here. So I'm just going to select that. And the same for description, I'm not going to go through all that again uh, in the interest of saving time. just want to kind of demonstrate it as you get the idea already. So again, we've got all that. Category products. Oh, and we want to stay on this page. Make sure you save before you uh, do that. So save. And now we can add some category products now that we've saved it. So assign products to category. And I want my root veg now. And I can't remember exactly which ones I'd had. But I think, there we go, you get the idea. Okay, there we go, add products. And again, I want to add another subcategory. So we're going to select vegetables again, and we're going to add sub subcategory again. I could add a subcategory to root veg if I wanted, but I think you get the idea at this point. Um, so I'm just going to quickly add this one. So it's going to do leafy greens. Uh, again, availability, make sure it's enabled or disabled if you want to carry on working on it as you add products. And we've got choose a file for it. And there we go, just going to use that. And once I've done this, I'll show you what it looks like live on the website. So we've got that. Give it a description. Uh, but again, I'm not going to do it because I've already showed you how to do it. Save. And we can add products here so assign products to category and let's have a quickly go through added a few in there that's been exactly fine add products there we go okay let's go and have a quick look how that looks on the website what i will just quickly do is just go back 
to that storefront page and add i'm not going to add products to this but just so you can kind of see what it looks like we're going to add fruit in there and choose that file just so we can see what it looks like okay i'm not going to add any products to this because i don't think i really need to i think i've uh, covered that already And once that is uploaded, make sure you save. I just need to go back and uh, activate that. Now let's stay on that page for a second. Once it hadn't saved. There we go. And I'm just going to enable that because I disabled it. And now that should be live on my website. So let's go take a look. So we've gone from all of that kind of jumble. And now what we should see at the top of that is my categories. There we go. Perfect. So we've got fruit and veg. Now, if I go into the vegetables ones, you can see that I've got the subcategories I added and you've got all the products that I'd added to that one too. So that's really all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.